Hi, and welcome to another day of Everyday Vlogmas. So today, I think it's going to be the start of a lot of different parts of different days because we're getting ready to travel again, getting ready for guests. So I'm gonna convert this room into the guest room. I don't even know if we have enough sheets or anything like that, so I feel very unprepared. But I have some unboxing. So I've got this. They came in the mail, so I wanted to unbox that with you because um, I'm going to take this on the trip with me. And this is from the Black Friday sales, I think. I don't know if I actually, I don't know, did I post this? I think I posted this on um, the community tab. Community tab. And I just filmed a few videos. Um, favorites, like in different categories. So this is my color science order. So I ordered a few things, some staples. I ordered the Even Up, which is my daily SPF. <laughs> I do compromise on this though, because it's too late. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I have this, it's SPF 50, because it's got brightening. So I'm willing to work around that if I need to. Plus, I feel like it really adheres well to the skin because it takes a little work to remove the SPF at the end of the day. So that tells me it's staying in place. And then I picked up a Total Eye 3-in-1. Sometimes, as much as I love my Sizzly on the daily, this is really easy to apply. So I just take this because it's got this applicator and you just swipe it under and then pat it in and you're done. So no brush required for this. Yeah, it's very delicate skin under here. So any protection that you can get during the day, that's a good one to have. And then I ordered this because my other one went through the washing machine. <laughs> this is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Color Balm. This is Reef Safe as well. It's a cheek color. So I like to use this in when I'm in the sun because I put it right on my dark spots here so I get a little extra protection. So I like to carry this in my bag as well. And I think the reason it went through the wash is because it was in a pocket, but it's a beautiful peachy shade. So it's a really great everyday extra SPF for me. So if I know I'm gonna be in the sun, I put this on even up and this, and then I put some powder on to bring the color back. So I'm actually gonna take these with me on my trip and actually the total eye as well. because I'll be in the sun. And then my pants arrived, the Veronica Beard pants. I'm really curious about them. So we'll try these on as well. I know that the, um, what do you call it? The, my mind. I filmed so many videos today, I can't speak anymore. The, oh, Stella McCartney, those brown pants. I wore them again and they felt kind of too big. So I don't know, we'll see how these fit and then make a decision. So I ordered this from, net a porte so it comes in a nice garment bag. And these are the pants. Oh, they're really nice. Just the way that they feel, oh, wow. They're really soft and look how beautiful the color is. These are really nice, so I wonder if they fit. <laughs> but here they are, they look so well made. Like there's no waistband, so it's probably gonna be really flat here on the top. And here are the pockets. I'm gonna try them on, let's, I'm gonna try them on right here. So then I'll stand up and you can see what they look like at least. The quality of this leather is so, it's so, I know they say buttery soft, but it is buttery soft, wow. Yeah, these are really well fitting. And I like how the pockets are flat, so you don't have anything bulky here. And then the seams make this really nice fitting in the back. The drape on the leather is gorgeous. Wow, really nice. And they're fully lined inside as well. Here they are over here further away. The fit is amazing. Like this, um, the seams on here really bring everything in. And I love the way that they drape. These are so pretty. Oh, wow, I love these. Okay, so I don't know if you tell, but these fit so beautifully. I'm really impressed with them. So I don't know what they look like to you. I just know how they felt and they feel really like made like a glove. So I'm gonna get some better pictures for you in some better light. Hello, and here we are sitting on the floor again, which means I have some unboxing to do, but I thought we would do that together. The first thing I wanted to show you was 
I think I have some lovely PR in here as well. I'm trying to look around and see what I have. But this finally arrived. Oh, there it is. It fell in a box. <laughs> Yeah, if you could see the disaster here, we still have to convert that bed to a guest bed. <laughs> that was supposed to happen today. That's not happening today, maybe tomorrow. Um, but we need to do that before we go and the battery's out. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully the battery will last a little bit longer. So, oh yeah, these arrived. What was that? I don't even remember what I was saying, but we have so much to do before we go out of town because yeah, because we're having guests pretty much right away. I picked up these cow shed cow shed items. There's a calming bath and shower gel and then there's a calming body lotion. I like the packaging. It's really cute. This is supposed to be lavender and eucalyptus. Oh, it smells really clean. Yeah, that one's nice. And then I picked up this body lotion. This is for our guests. It's got lavender and eucalyptus and chamomile. It says natural therapies from the heart and soul of Somerset, England. So that's why I've seen the UK vloggers talk about it. I also picked up this Molten Brown Mesmerizing Oud Accord and Gold Body Lotion. This has a very strong fragrance to it. Almost too strong. I mean, it's you have to like this though. It's I love their lotion, but I think I should have picked up the bergamot one that I liked. It's very oud, but it's kind of spicy. So we'll see how much I like this. I think it's nice for the winter, but I still prefer the bergamot, bergamot and orange one. Okay, do want to show you that. So some things came in. Let's see what's this something arrived from Chantecaille so let me open this and I always love when I get packages from Chantecaille because you know how much I love their products it says here we're so excited to share you share you we're so excited to share with you this limited limited edition launch to celebrate the year of the tiger and to give back to Sujan's tiger and leopard conservation project Ooh, lovely it's the bio lifting mask look at how lovely the packaging is with the tiger it's a little bit of a raised design here uh, and then you can just remove the sleeve like this it says the bio lifting mask plus is a boosted formula with even more lifting and smoothing power than the original bestseller Ooh, i already love the bestseller so this is how lovely is that that's such a beautiful shade i love that it says wishing you glowing radiant skin thank you so much shantakai for sending this over i'm definitely going to try this out then we have something from what is this oh i think i bought this hold on this is a purchase i made a purchase for myself i think this is it let's see by the way, I ordered that cardigan we were looking at. I did order this. Okay, wow, that one came flying out. Um, so we'll see what that cardigan looks like. It does look a little bit longer, but I can like I have more of an athletic frame. So those kinds of cuts actually work quite well on me, so I'm excited for that. So I did order another Clay de Peau brush, the concealer brush, because I loved it so much. And oh yay! <laughs> this one has another like travel case with it that I actually do use. And here's the brush. So I'm glad I have this because I already misplaced my other one. I also ordered another brush, brush blush, blush brush, <laughs> Clay de Peau because I think theirs is so good, especially for cream and liquid blushes. The other one, and I think I may have thrown the first one away, so I'm glad this one comes with us because I'll travel actually with both of these. We're gonna pack after this. And I have to show you some decorations. I need to decorate, I need to do a lot of things. Um, but I also ordered a concealer in Honey because they had that promo, so I wanted to pick up another one. It's funny, I've been using a lot of mocha lately, but I also really like that one, the Honey. So. I use honey, mocha, almond. Okay, this is, we have a little bit of PR here though. I think this one has a little discount for you. This is from Skin Store. This is the Skin Store Skelex. This is a Skin Store, I've been talking all day long. This is a Skin Store Selex box. And let's see what's inside. I know there's a discount for you on this. Just so if you're thinking about it, this is currently 30% off and it retails for $77.70, but you get an extra 10%. So if you want an extra 10% off of this, use Grace 10 for an extra 10%. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. I love this because it introduces me to a lot of new products. So it says the Skin Store Selects Edit. Oh, the edit. A curated skin store favorite straight from our beauty editors. So it comes like this. So there's a Sio Sio Eye Smile Eye and Smile Lift. So they look like eye patches. 
Reusable wrinkle smoothing patches. Oh, reusable. They're usually not reusable. Oh, you can use it up to 10 uses. Oh, that's so smart. It says with proper care, patch will last up to 10 uses. And you can use them around your mouth as well. Oh, that's why it says smile. See, I learn new things all the time. So there's a little picture of it under the eye as well as on the smile lines. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you so much, Skin Store, for sending that. Oh, and thank you so much, Shantikai, for sending the BioLifting Mask Plus, if I didn't say that already. Oh, there's a lot in here. So we have a P Ooh. we have a PCA collagen hydrator. Lovely. Not familiar with this line. I think I've gotten things before that have that brand, but I don't know if I fully tested things out. Oh, this is fun. Aesop. We know this brand. This is a resurrection rinse-free hand mist. Ooh. Rosemary leaf cedar. It's an alcohol-based hand mist for cleansing whatever. Oh good, this is a nice one for travel. So let's see. Okay, that one's going in my bag now. <laughs> I love that. I love Aesop products. This is cute, Pure Hyaluronic Serum. I don't know if you can see that, but this is by Pestle and Mortar. And it comes in a tube like this. This is how it comes. How interesting, Pure Hyaluronic Serum. Then we have a Peter Thomas Roth, you know I love the anti-aging cleansing gel. Here's a pumpkin enzyme mask. I think I've heard some great things about this, so I will let you know how it works. It's a three-in-one intensive skin resurfacer mask, which exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme. Then we have a Caudalie Creme SOS Hydration Intense. Caudalie, I know this brand, but I don't really know their products, so we'll try that out. There's a 15% pure vitamin C and E serum. I am just running out of some of my SkinCeuticals, so this will be interesting. This is by Soon Skincare. The uh, item is called Phoenix. Let's see, it's a 30 ml bottle. By the way, this whole thing is worth over $350. Oh, it's a nice size in this yellow. Cute, I like that shade. Comes in a dropper. We've got a an Arborian CC Dull Correct automatic perfector boost of radiance complexion it's got a spf 25. Huh, i love herborian i love their uh, cleanser the oil one now i want to see what this is oh it's purple or lavender interesting see how that looks on the skin or it's got a pearlescent kind of reflective quality i'm curious to know how that will work on my skin tone usually i'll go for more peachy tones but this is a like a purpley tone. Then we have a the Extra Strength Daily Peel. It's to help smooth fine lines, minimize the look of pores, improve the appearance of uneven tone and texture. Oh, that's me. I need to use those. So they are pads like this. Oh, okay. So they come like this and there are six it looks like in there. We've got a Decorte Moisture Liposome Hydration Boosting Serum. So this is the brand Decorte. I have also heard of them, but haven't really tried them. Oh, that's a cute little travel size. I, yeah, I love that because it's already kind of decanted into a small size, but it gives me several days to try something out. Um, and then it helps with packing as well. And then we have this Raviv Nightly Retexturizer. It comes in this box. You can see, oh, okay, it comes in this size. It's, uh, how big is this? I don't know. It's 15 grams or 0.5 ounces. So this is what the cream looks like. It's nice and creamy. I like the way it feels. Really rich texture to it. Yeah, so I'm so happy to be able to try some new things. And then we got one more thing in here. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, yay, a hand cream. Okay, whenever we travel, I'm desperate for a hand cream. <laughs> As this Costana, Costana, Costana. Cost, am I reading this correctly? Costana. It says Nutura Ecos Nourishing Hand Cream. Our hand cream nourishes the hands and cuticles with a soft texture and quick absorbing formula. It keeps hands, nails, and cuticles looking their best. No matter how many hand creams I have, I never have enough. Ooh, this is the kind of like where it's like a more, um, it's like a metal material. Let's see, 97% natural origin. Ooh, I like that. It's a uh, 2.6 ounces. Oh, that's a lot. It feels nice and creamy. Let's see how well it absorbs in. Nice, yeah, this is the hand cream. So I always feel like they don't put hand creams in things like this. I don't know why, but that's the thing I use the most, 
hand creams, like hand creams that I can travel with. Those are things that I use up all the way, all the time. So thank you so much, Skin Store. Again, the box is called, let me show it to you again. So many lovely items though. There's a lot in here. Um, the Skin Store selects. Again, you get an extra 10% off with the code. Let me just check. Grace 10 gets you an extra 10% off and it's already, let's see, and it's already 30% off. Retailing for 77.70. So make sure to pick that up in case you're interested in trying any of the products I just showed you. So I am looking forward, actually, I'm gonna try and try them all, try and try them all, <laughs> just so I can share how well they worked. But I have a couple more things. There's this that came from New York, a company in New York, which I know that you love, and I am starting to collect a lot of their products, and I'm lucky enough to receive PR from them now. So thank you for your support. That's the only reason I get any PR. So we have here, ooh, some of the new Victoria Beckham products. I was lucky enough to get all their new cheek shades, which I love major, but um, I have been trying out some of the other lip shades. Did I say lip? I meant cheek. I'm cheek shades. That's what I've been trying out. They're cheek shades, but I do love their lip shades as well. But I was sent over this lovely bag of their new shades. The Posh Lipstick in Moody, Lid Luster in Mirror and Chiffon, and the Satin and Kajal Liner in Sea Gray. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking forward to because I saw that one go by. So let's look at the lipstick, and the lipstick looks beautiful as well. So thank you so much to Victoria Beckham Beauty for sending these over. I'm always excited to try the products. So we've got the lip shade here. Ooh, that looks very dramatic. So we'll have to try that out in a video, but it looks like a deep like plum color, I don't know how it's described, but it's very dramatic looking, but who knows if that's actually how it looks on. You never can tell until you try them on. And then here is the eye liner right here. Ooh, I love a good grayish silver eyeliner because I think it solves problems for more cool eye, eye looks. I was gonna say eye shades, eye looks. I think there are plenty of warm like brown kinds of eyeliners with a little bit of reflective quality in them. Not as many silvery gray ones though, so excited for this one. There are a couple I can think of, but they're harder to find for sure. Then we have the, I just tried my first one. I think that video went up, I don't know when, but it recently went up where I tried Mink. But here's another one, one of the new ones. This is in Chiffon, really lovely formula. Very easy to work with, so I'm assuming these will behave the same way. So here's the lovely packaging. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Lovely. There it is. It's gonna be really pretty on. I love that shade, it's so beautiful. And then one more, Lid Luster. Actually, I think they accidentally sent me two. <laughs> so I have another chiffon. So we'll we'll try this, I think I was supposed to get um, mirror, but that's okay. I have two chiffons, so I've got to decide what to do with this extra one. So thank you so much to Victoria Beckham Beauty for sending these over. Like I said, I need to decorate, and I saw this in a store, so I wanted to try it out. I thought we could just hang these kind of above the um, fireplace. So they were like these oversized ornaments. So I got some oversized ornaments. Yeah, this is kind of like what I saw. Okay guys, I didn't know what they looked like from far away. And some other, oh, these are much bigger than I thought they would be. So I thought we would do green and blue. So the plan was to take these and I'll show you what my idea was. And then I got some ribbon, although I think I got ribbon that was too big now. I got two different shades of, they're both kind of blue. But I thought we could try this by taking the ribbon, I can't even speak anymore. The ribbon, and let me take one of these. I don't really love the glitter part. I like this matte one though. Oh, oh no, did I break it? No, I don't think so. Um, I like the matte one, I think that's pretty. So what we're gonna try is to put this ribbon like this, and just tie it, I don't know how, but I saw it in a window and it looks so cute. And then they had them just hanging, like this like rows of them. This is not very clear, but it's like there were maybe, I don't know, a handful of them together side by side, kind of 
mixed together. Can I be any more unclear? <laughs> but I thought we could hang them, oh, these scissors are not good for this. But I thought we could hang them above the fireplace. So you'll see when I put them up, that way they would hang like this. That doesn't look pretty right now, but, but we'll try it together, see how it looks. I'll have to look back at the picture of the store I saw, but they looked really cute all strung together. And that is it for my unboxing for now, but right now I really need to pack. So I'm gonna pack and then we'll see if I can put up the, um, the decorations as well. So here is what I'm going to try to pack for, let me think, about five days. This is really uh, an old dress from J. Crew, but that tells you how much I keep my clothes. It's probably 10 years old, but it's a chambray material. It can go off the shoulder if you want. It's short sleeve, and then it's like a knee length. So really easy to wear, so I've got that. I have three pairs. I know it's not linen season, but these are linen joggers, so I've got three of them here. I'm bringing one pair of denim, My Citizens of Humanity, the wide leg ones that I wear all the time, so comfy. I have two dresses here. I have a Vince one that I bought a long time ago, and I love this because you can roll this up in a ball and it still looks really nice, um, even after being packed. So it has a belt. It's a long, like a midi on me, maybe maxi on some people. It's got a kind of a slit on the end here, and it has a belt. And then I just put a cami on underneath that. And I also have this other dress. I'm gonna fix this. It's a navy also, you can tell I like blue. It's a navy Brooks Brothers. It's short sleeve. It has a little snap there. I've gotta find the belt, but it's a nice jersey material and pockets. <laughs> So I've got that, it packs really well too. I have Vince t-shirts here, I love these. These are tissue tees. They're a little bit sheer though sometimes, especially this lighter one, so if you do get these, I don't know if they're still available, but I have three um, Vince t-shirts. So we're gonna pack this and see how much room I have left. This is really quite old as well, but it's a rails shirt. It's like a, looks like a denim, but it's uh, kind of a rayon-y material, so for over, uh, so just to put over things if I feel cold. got all of the dresses and the tops and pants in these two packing cubes and then I just have the one pair of denim. I think I might add a few more things because you won't have access to wash or dryer. <laughs> so I might pack another cube. And I just remembered I have this off-shoulder Norma Kamali dress that travels really, really well and washes well and I've taken this to Italy with me and this is the navy one, I think. So I'm gonna take this one along as well. I just have to show you how small this rolls up. It's teeny tiny once it's rolled up. Since we don't have access to wash or dryer this time, I have to pack a fly back home outfit. So I have this tank from Intimissimi. It's a really soft one as well. I talked about the like the base layers before. The straps are really smooth, nothing itchy here. And then I just have a tee from, where's this from? J. Crew, a really old one. And then some Lululemon leggings and I always wear a long black cardigan on the plane that I will also wear there but I need to remember to pack something for the ride home and I can't find my white socks my all white socks so we're taking these socks because they don't fall down or they don't get smashed in the shoes Yesterday and arrived late last night, so we had just a meal here, 
slept in quite a bit. It's almost time for lunch. And then we're gonna go and find something to eat. Quick outfit of the day, we have this uh, PR piece that I got from Christophe Robin. It's that striped top, the Britannia top. Some linen joggers, and then I use these so much, these Gucci trainers. These are also the shoes that I traveled in. Let's go get something to eat. I've been editing a video. <laughs> I don't know what happened last night. I set the video to go at 6 a.m. like normal. I'm gonna put some lip balm on here. I brought the Chantecaille lip balm. It's really nice. Um, that's what it looks like inside. And I set it, I thought for 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It went at like midnight Eastern time, so I don't know what I did wrong, but that a video went really early if you're wondering what happened. I don't know, I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna put on the Victoria Beckham primer. It does add a little bit of color. So if you're my skin tone, it will add a little bit of like a skin tint. I also had someone ask if you were deeper in shade of this would work. It is on the sheer side, so it's not gonna cover up the skin. So it may work, but I couldn't guarantee it. It definitely is not a full coverage, even a medium coverage. Brought my Natasha Denona light palette. There's a really nice mirror in here. But I do want to go in with SPF because we're going outside. Um, we're going to meet Angela Rogers from Chantecai at her store here. So I'll get to meet her in person. But I think it's like an outdoor mall. So I want to make sure to have some sunscreen on. Even though I don't really love the way this looks. I definitely need it. Even though this looks really light, with the primer underneath it really helps. Taking a little bit of the Sisley under eye concealer. Same one. And I think maybe I need to get a new one soon. I think when there's a sale, I'm gonna get a new one. I'm gonna say this lasts even longer than say something like my Clay de Post stick foundation. Not stick foundation, stick concealers. I wonder if we could take some of this three in one, this concealer by Color Science and use it like La Prairie. I don't know, I haven't tried it. Let's see if we can do like the brightening. Seems a little bit more fluid than the La Prairie. Not bad in a pinch. I brought this Clay de Peau concealer in Honey. I brought the Chantecaille Eye Primer with me, the Next Generation, I can never say it, Next Generation Eye Base. I brought it in medium. Interesting, it applies much smoother in a more humid climate. Brought my blur powder, of course. Let's go in with the blur powder. I was wondering why it was a little bit tan because I forgot I went in with the same brush yesterday <laughs> with a little bit of the Sizzly bronzer. I brought this. I'm going to do brows as usual Gucci pencil and my Dior Show Pump and Brow. Okay, brows are on. Let's go in with the Natasha Denona palette. We'll go in with this shade first. It's pretty much how I used it when I did the try-on. Oh yeah, it is creamier because I got a little creasing there, huh? This is the Chantecaille Shade and Sweep brush. One of my essential brushes that I take, especially traveling. The Wayne Goss number 19. I'm gonna take the crease shade right here. Okay, I brought the number 20 brush for this, but I don't know where it is. That's strange because I don't know where it could be. So I'm gonna take the same brush and just uh, use that then. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlight shade and add that to the lid. Eyeliner and mascara. 
hair is back on. I went in with the Chantecaille, of course, Fossil Longest Slash Mascara, the Black Eyeliner by Chantecaille. I also went in with Jasper in the waterline and then right above the lash line. And that's all I did. And then, of course, I concealed in the corners like usual just to clean everything up. And the fun part, we're gonna go in with the blush. I've got my Clay de Peau uh, blush brush that I brought and the Natasha Denona. By the way, there is a beautiful view that I'm looking at of the water, it's so pretty. Someone mentioned that this blush was fading on them, so I'm gonna watch this today because we're gonna have it on all day. So probably, I mean, at least eight hours. So we'll check in and see how this looks. Take this buff and blur brush, just the excess powder that's on there. I'm gonna stamp and then buff, stamp, buff, which I forgot. I stuck that in the bronzer last. That's the only problem with multitasking brushes. <laughs> Look a little more tan than normal, but that put a really pretty glow on there. Now one of my last step, one of my favorite parts as well is the lip, and I've been carrying this in the bag. This is one I travel with the most, my Louis Vuitton little bag that I don't believe is available anymore. So this is Victoria Beckham Spark. I just have to find that brush that I'm missing now, number 20. And someone asked me about styling my hair. So again, I just brought a round brush, brought this round brush and I blow dried it. Blow dried it? Yeah, I used the blow dryer and I put it through and I uh, used the hot air. And actually I didn't even use the cool shot because this, I don't know if this dryer had it. And then I twist it like this going down and then I let it kind of set and cool in that position and that's how I get these more tousled kind of uneven waves. So that's what I did here. I didn't bring a curling iron but I'll do a little bit more in depth maybe at home. It's um, not the best situation in that bathroom to uh, show you but uh, I think home I have a better setup where I can show you but I'm gonna get my hair done in the one day that we have in between. Yeah so I'm getting my tooth done <laughs> and my hair done and then we're off to my parents house um, it's a really quick turnaround, so we'll see. I don't know if I can do it then, but we will see. I'm gonna finish editing a video that needs to go up, and then we're gonna go and see Angela. Actually, my husband just brought me lunch, so I'm gonna eat out here and look at this beautiful view. Outfit of the day, I just have that Brooks Brothers dress on with the pockets right here. <laughs> And I just had it pretty much wadded up in a ball, so so it travels really well because I didn't iron it or anything. And then I have on my YSL slides that I normally travel with. These have come in so handy. But now we're off to see Angela. Here's Angela. Hi. It's so good to meet you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Such a beautiful store and great company. I love to share Shantikai. Can you see that behind us? Oh my gosh, so exciting. I can't believe we're here. This is like I serendipitous. Know. I know. So to exciting. meet people in person. I know. You we really like you know exist. Them? Yeah. fun meeting Angela. I've seen her so many times on lives with Abby and I follow her on Instagram so it was fun to finally meet her in person and see the beautiful store. But yeah, really nice to finally meet her. She's so sweet. We're gonna head though to Sarasota um, tomorrow and I'll take you with us of course there but I think this is a long enough <laughs> video so far so I'm gonna say bye here and I will see you in the next one.